Hi, guys. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good. fine, thank you. And doing you? Great. I'm doing great. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Hello, do you read me? Hi. Okay, my hi. My name is Jocelyn Navas. I will be your teacher for the rest of the module. Okay. It's a pleasure meeting you, being with you, and I hope that you can learn and you enjoy it. All right. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank How you. do you feel? Are you ready? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> yes. So, so. <laughs> hey, what's up with the attitude? Hold on, let me write your names. I have Otto Hill. Otto Hill. Hill My name is Otto Hill. Guzman, welcome. Hello. Leo. Hello. Alvaro Aguilar, welcome. Josue Aguilar. Yes. Are you guys relatives? No? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Milton, uh, hold on, give me one second, guys. Alvarenga, welcome. Milton, can you hear me? Yeah, hello. All right. Yes. Great. I have Carla Chang. Hi, Carla. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Fernando. Fernando Hi. Lopez. Hi. Right the Good evening, teacher. Hi, Gabriel. How are you? I'm great. Okay, I have Kelida. Kelida, what's your last name? Hi, Ruiz. Kelida Ruiz. Okay. Hey, yes. Carlos Morales. There you are, Carlos. Hi. Nice seeing you again. Erika Hueso, welcome. Hi, thank you. Rosario. We have a new classmate. Yeah, a lot, right? <laughs> Rocio, what's your last name? Hi, uh, Rocio Montes. Rocio Montes, okay. Yes, try to add your last name, okay? Uh, who else? Patricia Alemán. Hi, Patricia. Hi, <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome. Good night. There's Good one evening. more person. Who didn't I mention? Whose name did I say? A quien no mencioné? Ah, Santiago. Who? Uh. Santiago Vinicio. A quien no mencioné? Dígame su nombre si no lo mencioné. José Hernández. José. Y. Hello, eh... Jonathan. Ok. Hi, Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan Castillo. All right, that's it, right? Hi again. Hi. I'm back. All right. Then I also have Juan. What's your last name? I have Juan. I don't know his last name. Okay, let's begin, guys. Kind of noisy, so I'm going to mute everyone. All right, it's better. Ah, Sergio Arcias. Oh, we have a lot of people. That's great. <clears throat> Everybody, let's go to the platform. But first, let me tell you what the rules are, okay? Hold on. Give me one second. Unmute themselves. One second. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, great. So, listen, I would like to uh, I would like to go over the rules. Okay, so first one is please use headphones. You may know this, but I'm gonna recap on it. I'm gonna yeah restate it just in case. So if you're not wearing headphones or earphones, please try to get some. All right. To have your platform open. So open the platform before class. All right. Open it so it's ready. When we start the class, you have it. Uh, try to stay away from noise. Stay away from noise. Okay. And also turn your camera on. You know that. Everybody, so I have. Kelly, I would like to see you. Jonathan, Miguel, I would like to see you. Okay, that's awesome. So I can recognize you, Fabiola, looking great tonight. You see, turn the camera on. <laughs> Let me see, Fernando, I don't see you. Milton, I don't see you. Erika, Rocio. Oof, so many people. Okay, bueno, hold on. Mm -mm. Ok, todos ya les quité el mute Porque hay alguien que tiene así mucho ruido Mucho, mucho ruido Y no se escucha nada casi Por ejemplo, el que está con el perro también Ok, espero Entonces <ríe> Usemos la opción de Hagamos algo, ok Todos pongan el micrófono en silencio A menos que vayan a decir algo a participar okay. Por favor Porque si yo los pongo en mute y les estoy preguntando algo, a veces nadie me contesta y me quedo así esperando. Así que mejor eh, autogestionenlo y cuando vayan a participar, quiten el micrófono. De lo contrario, manténganlo apagado. Ok, ok. Teacher, okay. okay. Y la cámara, si sí quisiera que la tuvieran encendida, porque así cuando estén participando o trabajando en grupos, las personas eh, lo conocen, lo reconocen. Okay, y se sienten que están participando con otro humano y no con una pantalla negra, que es lo que vemos. Uh -huh. uh, teacher, uh -huh. um, me ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, um, uh, thanks. Um, actually, on on the phone, and will it be a problem? Will no, I need no. to connect from a, a laptop, for example? I mean, it's advisable. It's better if you use your laptop. But if you can't, then it's all right to use your phone. But it's better if you have both. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because the thing is, I send you a lot of activities okay, on the phone. So you can like use the phone for the activity and be on Zoom with the computer. Okay, and okay. that's about it. All right, and the other thing is number five, please inform me. Okay, for me, if you will be absent from class, please tell me so I don't. And, and also, do me a favor right now, everybody, go to WhatsApp, okay, and send a message. Send a message with your first and last name right now, please. Let's do that. Should have done that. Okay, everybody, go to WhatsApp to the group, please. Send a message with first and last name so I have your phone number and I know who was in class today. Okay. I see Leo was going to say something. Uh, Andrea Gomez. Go ahead, everybody, send your first and last name to WhatsApp to the group. Carlos Morales, Carla Chan. Okay, awesome. Everybody send your name. I'm going to send mine too. So you have everyone's phone number. <laughs> Ismael. But what's your last name, Ismael? Ah, Ismael Hernandez. All right. Gabriel Alvarado, Leo Castillo, Sergio Herrera, Jose Man, Man, okay, Manzano. Jose Manzano. Jose Manzano, there you are. Orlando, welcome. Hay una persona sin nombre, dice Galaxy. No, no sé quién es. 
Josue Aguilar. Okay, awesome. Thank you, guys. Now let's move on. Do you have questions? Questions? Remember, you're muted. Si quieren decir algo, tienen que encender el micrófono porque no los escucho. I don't have a question. No, no I'll I don't have a question. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm happy to be with you. We can begin now. Everybody, let's go to the platform, okay? And here's the first class. Let's go to section one. It reads the objective, please. I'm just going to read that. Gabriel, read the objective, please. Can't hear you, Gabriel. Ah, Herbert Guzman, you need to send that to WhatsApp. Okay, I don't hear you, Gabriel. Leo, can you read the objective, please? Okay. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular, regular and irregular verbs. E.g., I was born in Korea. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up um, in the United States. I moved, I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't, I didn't speak English. Additionally, you, you'll be able to ask an answer question in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Okay. Great. Sorry. Now you can unmute yourself. I want. Hold on, allow entry. Great. Now, when I ask you, you can unmute the microphone. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see. Let's watch the video. Please pay attention. Take notes if you can so you have better understanding. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs, such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that 
in green, then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, OK? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb. And that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with, did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. 
it's important not to get confused and so therefore I would like for you to answer the following questions as you can see sometimes I will use did and sometimes I will use the verb to be and the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be so that's what I want you to notice All right. Um, that was a lot of information. Hold on, give me one second. Gabriel. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you falling asleep? <laughs> okay, look, guys, I'm gonna recommend you this. Cuando cuando estén viendo videos, tomen notas, okay? Porque así no se duermen. <laughs> Y encima ya, de, ya deberían tener las cuatro estructuras en su cuaderno a esta altura, porque ya las vimos en el video. Así que tengan cuaderno listo y mientras escuchan, escriben, se van a aprender más. Ok. Ok. Gabriel, <risa> come on. Anyway. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the, the camera. <risa> No, write down the notes because it's a simple. All right, guys. So, let's see. Hi. Yeah. Uh, hello. My name is Herbert. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I got stuck in the last part because I was writing about questions in the box using Give me one second, Herbert. the Sorry. idea. Hold on. It's, it's noisy. Hold on. Okay. Only Herbert's gonna have his microphone on. Uh -huh. So you were saying? Yeah. Hello. Thank you. My name is Herbert. Uh, I have a question. I got stuck in uh, the H W D G Y, like, and how to make questions in past. Like, not stuck in the topic. And um, mm -hmm. what I want to say is that I, I was taking notes, right? So I don't know what was next. So I lost the last part. No, I didn't. I didn't get that. Sorry. What did you miss? The structure? No, no. What I what I miss is that uh, I was I was writing down the structure of questions. Ah, okay. And no class, worries. And after that, I didn't I didn't listen to anything. Like I was taking notes. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, we're gonna review that right now. Don't worry. Okay. okay I'm gonna give you. you the structures, guys. Take notes. You see, like Herbert was taking notes. Do that, please, everybody. All right, so affirmative. What's the affirmative structure? We have what? Okay, I'm gonna give you examples and we're gonna get the structure out of those, all right? So for example, I went to, um, I went to China. Okay, I don't know why I'm thinking about China, but I went to China last year, for example. What is the structure of the affirmative form? What, what's I? What is this? Subject, right? Everybody participate. Subject plus what is what is this? The verb. verb. The verb in the past. Very good. Plus complement. Very good. Now, what is the negative form? Didn't. Subject uh -huh. plus the didn't. Form would be I didn't. Is this correct if I say this? I didn't went to China. Is this okay? No. No. Why? Why not? Because you already put in there a uh, didn't, so it's in pass. You have to put it as as it goes, like Go. the regular verb. Okay, the auxiliary is gonna be in the past. The verb is going to be in the um, not present, but in the base form or infinitive. Base form. This is gonna be in the past. Okay, and. The auxiliaries we're gonna use in the past are, guys, okay. We're gonna use did or the negative form didn't or did not, all right? Don't use was and where, don't use those because those are only one verb, all right? It's only one verb. You're gonna use didn't for all the other verbs, all right? So don't get confused. Now, um, what is the question for this? So subject plus 
didn't. Didn't. Does. Bear. Bear. In the past. In present. Base form. Base form. Plus. Complement. Complement. Okay, Compliment. now what's the Compliment. question? What is the question? Didn't. Didn't. No, it did. China last year. Did I go to did. China? Did I go to China last year? All right. The auxiliary is the past. Okay, what is the structure? What's the structure? Oh, everybody with the microphone, yeah. please. Solo una persona con el micrófono, la que va a hablar, por favor, que escucho todo acá. Okay. What's the structure of this? It's going to be dead. Dead plus. Ver. Subject. Look, this is a subject. Subject. Oh, subject. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. So oh. we have a subject plus a verb. And the, the complement. And the complement. This is the structure. All right. That's it. And then WH question is exactly the same. Jonathan, could you turn the microphone off, please? For a while. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So WH question is basically the same. Why? Imagine why did I go to China last year? Why did I go to China? last year so if you notice it's exactly the same did i go to china last year did i go to china last year it's exactly the same but you're putting something in front of it so the structure i'm gonna copy paste the structure because it's exactly the same all right and i'm gonna say that i have to add wh before it okay it's exactly the same wh plus did plus subject, plus verb in the base form, and the complement. All right, now, do you have questions? Question? This is too big, probably. No, teacher. No? All right, great, we're gonna practice, okay. Um, hold on, it's too big. I think that's better. All right, now we're going to discuss some questions. Okay, for example, uh, we're going to practice speaking. Okay, uh, first question says, um, talk about, talk about in what you did, what you did yesterday. All right, here we're going to use the affirmative and negative form to reply. Help me out. What did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do anything basically because I was just like taking a rest. Uh, I'll, what I was doing last week was that uh, I was thinking about opening a new business, but it's not <laughs> going to be, <laughs> it's not going to be like in uh, a couple of years, right? So I, I'm mm -hmm. thinking about a very future, like maybe trying to achieve my goals of um, between five years or something like that. Yeah, yeah, all right. But you were trying to start, great. Guys, what I'm going right, to yeah, do- Yeah, I just, Okay. That's okay. No, but um, what I want to say is try to use the verbs in the past to answer the questions, okay? I'm going to send you some questions and we're going to practice in small groups because okay. we have about 31 participants right now. It's impossible to do it here, so we're going to work in small groups. And here are the questions. Everybody check WhatsApp right now. Go to WhatsApp, open WhatsApp, go to the group. Okay, take a look at the image and I want you to practice speaking. Help the other person. Okay, correct them if they make mistakes. It's okay. And if you don't know, you can use Google, right? What's the past of this verb you can say? And I'll be monitoring you as well. So here are the questions, Luke. 
I don't think you can see, but those are the questions, okay? We're gonna work in small groups, practice speaking, okay? Ready? Ready, ready? Yes, let's do it. Um, ready. I'm ready. ready. Miss. Great. Miss. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but what happened is uh, uh, I'm not in WhatsApp. The reason why is because my phone uh, doesn't work properly, so it doesn't recognize the SIM, the SIM card. So I do have WhatsApp, but I have it on another number. So I I have given my girlfriend's WhatsApp to the English okay. Corporation. Don't worry about it. So uh, your classmates, whoever you work with, are gonna read the question. Okay. okay. Accept the invitation, please, everyone. Let's do it. It's practice time. <laughs> Let's go. Join, please. Accept the invitation. Come on, come on, come on. Accept the invitation. Click on accept. Tap on accept. Click on accept. Hi, Rocio. You got the invitation? <laughs> yes. Yes, I already accepted, mm -hmm. please. Les debería haber llegado una invitación, por si ya no están los demás. Y usted tiene que presionar aceptar. Uh -huh. I already did it. Oh, really? It's not working. <laughs> Hold on. Let me send it to you again. Number four, maybe. Okay, accept it again. Uh, can you please do it again? I already, I, I just did it. Let me see. Okay, there it is. Again. I think Yeah, practice speaking. Did you get the questions? I got it. Awesome. All right, ask the first question and everybody will answer, all right? I'm not sure how it's pronounced the uh, past of the uh, verb read. Uh, read, uh, read. Uh, read. Like the bread, bread. Yeah. So uh, yesterday. I I live in Cincinnati City. Uh, okay. From uh, more or less uh, four years ago, I live in Acajutla. That's great. Um, I, sorry, guys. Did you get the yeah. question? Oh, in WhatsApp? Could, could, could you repeat in WhatsApp? Yes. Open WhatsApp and you're going to discuss those questions. Yes, we had the, the pick. Uh, uh, we are talk about the first. Uh, ah, okay, awesome, awesome, great, great. Uh, we are about uh, tell me about your last vacation. Okay, all right. Where awesome. did you go? All right, continue, please. Okay, Good. okay. Well.
Hey guys, what happened? Hello. Uh, yes, I, I was about to talk. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry? Yes. Uh, I, I didn't understand what just happened. Actually, I just received like an invitation of something like a partner trying to reach me uh, to make to practice or something like that, or uh, that's what I thought. So I was trying to practice with him, but I think we didn't understand each other basically because I was talking to him and he was saying like, what, what? And that was it. So okay. I just, I'm gonna so I just right returned to, to the group. main one. Yeah, so no, that group. happens, yeah. tell me. I'm gonna send you to another group. Accept it, please. Okay. the invitation. Okay, thank you. This is for pra number two. Yeah, practice the question. Practicing. Practice speaking, uh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. All right, accept the invitation. Tell okay. you two. You got it, right? Tell me, a, tell me, tell me a question, Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> cool, we can talk here. If yeah, you, you can talk to. here and with Kelida. You don't need to. About, about yesterday. No, uh, you have the questions. Know. Check what's up. Except you, Herbert, I know, but uh, Fernando, do you have the questions? Kelida. Fernando. I'm going to take that time to go ahead and reach my girlfriend's phone, if you don't mind. If, and that way I can look at the questions. But hold on, hold on. I'm going to send you another invitation. Accept it, please, so you can join another group. Okay. Accept it. Did okay. you get it? Uh, I don't think so. No? Oh, yeah, I got it. Thank you. All right. No problem. Thank you, sir. De vera. Sí. Wow. Okay, for me. What happened? Okay. Um, are you are you discussing the questions? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Okay, the last one, the ultima. Who did you meet last week? What did you do together? Who did you meet? Uh, I it was a great, great um, opportunity to know different, different, uh, you know, uh, culture and different country. But now I don't, I don't have a, a for, for a while I don't have vacations. But right, probably welcome. next year because this year will be hard to get vacations for the same situation, I mean, that we have. Yeah. I mean, and that's it, thank you. Uh, Leo and Rocio, are you participating? Oh, yes. Yeah. You're practicing? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, one more question. Hey, Leo, ask Rocio, go ahead. Uh, who was your first, I, I don't know what means mean crush? Amor platónico. Amor platónico. Who was your first crush, Rocío? Who was your first crush? Oh, a long time ago. So, <laughs> my, my... Hi, you mm. finished practicing? I try. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going to go back now. Welcome back. Here we are. Did you have the chance to practice a little bit? Yes, we we we, yes. we can yes. complete all the yes. questions. We couldn't, or you could. We couldn't. No, sorry, to interrupt. But some people had finished. That's what happened. Okay, remember, right? Tengan la plataforma lista antes de clase. WhatsApp. Have okay. it ready too, okay. 
eh, make sure you have everything tomorrow, right? So we don't have any, any issues. Y si les está costando un poquito adaptarse el micrófono. ¿Dónde está mute? I don't hear the teacher. Ah. All right, don't get frustrated. It's the first day. You're going to get used to it. All right, se van a ir acostumbrando. Don't worry. Y de todos modos, no tenemos de otra. <laughs> no podemos salir, así que tenemos que adaptarnos, all right? But you will do it. I believe you will. Everybody ends up adapting, so it's all right. Now, let's do the exercise together, okay? No, number like, two. Yeah, I would like different people to participate. But tell me, tell me one thing. Who was your first crush? Who wants to share? I prefer don't remember that. <laughs> it's a bad experience. <laughs> okay, so tell us. <laughs> 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 all right, don't share that with us. It's all right. So let's do the exercise. Take a look. Number one, please read, Alvaro. Second one. Ah, okay. Aguilar, number one. I don't hear you, Alvaro. There you are. I'm sorry. Uh, what was the question? Read number one, please. Um. The, the Choose the best question. response to this question. Okay, what are you Did she of? play soccer in the high school? Mm -hmm. What's the answer, guys? Second one. <laughs> Number no, two. No, she no, didn't. She didn't play, play soccer. No, Second one. Play Number two. Soccer in yeah, second one. Second one. The second one. Okay, no, awesome. she didn't play soccer. Yes, yeah, second one. Number two, Fabiola. Okay, read the question. Yes. Hello. Okay, she's the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? Say graduate. Gradu graduate from college. Graduate. Okay. With a ju sound. Yes, what's the answer? The second. I graduate from college. Yeah. It says I graduated from college in 2005. 2005. Everybody repeat, say graduated. 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 Four syllables. Graduated. 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 This D right here. I graduated from college. Graduated. 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 Number three, Flor Duran. Okay, Carla Chang, number three. Okay. Where you where did you grow up? Number one. Um three. Um ah, oh, where did you grow number up? Three. Okay. Awesome. Number four. Milton Alvarenga. The number four. Yes. I began to study English two years ago. Um, when, when you began to study English. You think it's the second one? I think, I don't know, maybe. The maybe. first. All right, let's look guys, it says WH did and subject, all right? Look, remember WH did and subject. Okay, you said it's the second one. WH, no, there's no did, so we need a did, this one, and so mm -hmm. but there's no. So look, look at the structure. I'm gonna make mm -hmm. it little here, all right. Um, when did you begin so to study English? WH, did, subject, it's all right, but the verb Some has to be in the base form, so base it's form. one, it's the first one, right? Yeah. Yes. Very good. So if you don't know, it's okay. You don't need to know. But compare it with the structure. All right? That way you will know. And finally, number five, Erika. Hi. 
<laughs> Erika? I don't hear Erika. Right. Erika. Ready? Erika. Ready? Okay, Jose Hernandez. Uh, number five uh, says, Did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes. The answer would be mm -hmm. uh, No, uh, no, I did. No, I did have a pet. Mm. Yes, I did. Yes, it would be a bit, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the short answer. Number three, well, the last one. Okay, awesome. Good job. Everyone, hey, no, microphone, please. Hold on, guys, hold on. Mute all. All right, need the microphone, thank you. Now let's continue. We have the right answer. Let's do one more. Positive and negative statements. Okay, uh, let's watch this video. It's pretty similar to what we were looking at. But let me ask you something. Look at this example. If I say, um, Look, I no one I wasn't eat yesterday. All right, is this correct, guys? Is this right? Yes, it is. Do you think this is right? I do think that not. You think it's not? What is the right form? Uh, you should use uh, I didn't. Didn't, didn't I instead did, of exactly. wasn't. Didn't. This is incorrect. Okay. And we have to say I didn't. I didn't. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I didn't eat, right? Yesterday. One second. This is right. I didn't eat yesterday. This is right. Okay, so look, we have four auxiliaries in the past. We have was, we have were, all right. We also have did. Those are the auxiliaries. Okay, but look, this is the past of one verb, only one verb. Don't use that for everything, it's only one verb. Did, you're gonna use it for more than, I don't know how many verbs we have, but more than 99 verbs. Is that clear? Don't get that mixed up, don't get confused. We're gonna use was and where for the verb be, okay? And you're gonna use did for every other verb you have. Meaning go, study, eat, jump, run, develop, increase. All the verbs you're gonna use, did, except the verb be, okay? You have questions about that? Yeah, I will send you the structure back. Sorry? I didn't get you. I mean, uh, if we use was and were, it's gonna be just for a uh, verb to be. Use did for all the verbs except the verb be for the verb be you're gonna use was and where okay is that clear yes ma'am thank you that's great all right no that's good you asked it's, it's very important but i have noticed that a lot of people start using was and where to talk about the past it shouldn't be like that so use this all the verbs except the verb be you're gonna use was and where all right now let's watch the video and I will send you structures. Pay attention, take notes, please, so you will see the difference here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be. 
Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me, um, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like, we were born in Argentina, um, you were born in Argentina, they were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina. Okay. And then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China. Right? I was born in Argentina, I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you, so therefore we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina, and of course we can say you and this will be in its negative form. So this will be, you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then okay, that part we're not gonna do, okay. So, tomorrow we'll continue practicing both with the verb be and with the rest of the verbs. We're going to practice affirmative, negative, question, WH forms, all of them. All right, so please be in class. Do you have any questions for me? How do you Not feel? Yet. <laughs> Not yet. You always say that, Jackie. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Okay, uh, questions guys? 
Feel um, free to ask any questions. Uh, uh, yes, Jocelyn, I have a question. Um, what, can can we uh, see again the the this class? Oh yeah, sure. I have to upload it to YouTube, but it will probably be ready by the end of the week. I, I cannot promise you because it, it's 1 a.m. here, so I'm not going to upload it right now. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow or towards the end of the week, it's going to be on, on YouTube so you can see it again. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, but okay. well, you can see it. And not only that, I'm going to send you the structures for everything we saw tonight so that you can take a look, write it down. I'm going to send you structures and please take notes, okay? I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, are you going to uh, show us the, the best way to recognize verbs that end, regular verbs that end on the IE, ED form? What do you mean? How do regular or irregular you mean? The, the regular ones, how they are pronounced. Oh, how to pronounce the regular verbs in the past. That's a big topic. That's correct. Yeah, the thing is, there's a lot. Okay, I can, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send you a video. It, uh, I'm going to explain, yeah. Where is this guy? Let me see. Gabriel, you know I have a channel, right? So, yeah, that's one of the topics. Look, pronunciation of the past. Yeah, we're going to see everything. Don't worry. Pronunciation of it, affirmative, negative questions. We need to practice this topic a lot, but I'm going to send you a video anyway. And I'm going to send you the structures. Okay. I know it's a lot of information, but I will try to break it in small parts so that you can understand it better. But this was like the big introduction. So don't worry if you didn't get it. We have time to practice. We're going to study this topic for one week. So it's okay. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We yeah. appreciate. Thank you very thank much. You. We, we appreciate your time. Thank it's you. my pleasure. I will see you again tomorrow. Please be in class. Much appreciated. Thank, thank you. you very much. Have a good, good, good night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you, Bye. Tomorrow. See you, guys. Bye. See you for all. Good thank night. you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Tomorrow will be better. <laughs> yeah.